Dash make it fast. <laughs> I don't like to spend it. I can't be a singular expression of myself. There's too many parts, too many spaces, too many manifestations, too many lines, too many curves, too many twists, too many journeys, too many mountains, too many rivers, too many. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I am about to DoorDash. For the first time ever, it's been on my bucket list. I wanna see how much money does door dashing make you in an hour. Apparently they're paying people $14.50 an hour plus customer tips, but you could just earn by the dash. So I'm interested to see how much you can make in an hour if you were just to get the dashes yourself. So I'm getting ready to go to the Wynwood area. I'm in downtown Miami now, but this is way too intimidating to do for your first time downtown. Hell no. So I'm gonna go to Winwood first and see what they got. So I'm gonna let y'all know when we get there. So the goal today is to make $20 back because I put $20 in the tank. So the goal is to make $20 back at bare minimum. Okay, y'all, we are in the Winwood area. I'm gonna pull to the side and I'm gonna see, um, oh, that's what I'm supposed to go at. I'm gonna pull to the side first and then I'm gonna see what's available. I just commit to this, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see who need a boo first. Okay, y'all, I'm parked. I'm gonna open the app now and I'm gonna see which one of y'all hoes is hungry and how many calories y'all about to intake. A few moments later. So, what you have to do when you're dashing is you have to, I know, common sense, I didn't think of this, but you have to wait for people to place their orders. So it shows this thing like a hot zone, basically. I guess the hot zone is where orders are being frequently placed. I thought when you clicked on that, that meant it's hot right now. Like, come get the food, but it doesn't mean that. It actually means that people are placing orders that you just have to sit in the area and wait for somebody to place a DoorDash order. So we're gonna wait and see what happens. I'll let y'all know if we get a dash. In the meantime, we're actually hungry, so we're gonna try to find something to eat. How about that? Getting a chicken sandwich, Caesar salad, gelatino chips. <sighs> y'all, I'm waiting for the dashes to come through, but nobody's, ain't nobody hungry like I am right now. I don't know if I said it, we stopped at 7-Eleven to get, um, I got a Simply Chicken Salad Sandwich, Caesar salad with chicken, and then I'm pairing it with some jalapeno chips. So, while we wait for the DoorDash. A few moments later. Y'all, we done got our first DoorDash. I'm gonna pop my ass over here at the Yambu restaurant, whatever it's called, child. Shit, they make me do this YouTube. Okay, we got our first DoorDash. I'm on my way to the restaurant now to pick up these people food. Y'all don't know who the fuck it is. So the first thing I will say I've noticed about DoorDash that I don't like, they don't sync it with the Apple Maps one. And then two, even though they use Google Maps, they don't allow you to use it on your CarPlay. So I have to look at the map on my phone. You know, I have a whole navigation system, but gonna tie you up. Okay, y'all, we made it to the Yambo restaurant. Okay, y'all. I done got the people food. Yeah. I'm on my way to this man house now, child. Sean, girl, we coming with your shit. Bitch, we coming with your food, bitch. I'm your local door dasher. When I went into Yambo restaurant, it's a it's a Spanish restaurant. Nobody spoke Spanish, but I just showed the app and then they were like, yeah, you're good to go. That pickup was easy. This DoorDash, I'm making seven dollars and twenty-eight cents, y'all. Oh my god, this is fucking wild. Okay, y'all, I made it. I'm about to go drop Sean off his shit. I'm gonna try to read the instructions. <laughs> It's so funny because they're just simple instructions, but it's just because it's my first door dash off. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I'm here going to floor nine with Sean Shit. It's a nice place. It's not apartments like I thought. It's actually offices. Here we are. Okay. Sean, you're good to go. Going down. <laughs> I did it, y'all. Oh my gosh. Wow. Here's the thing. They offer to pay you the $14.50 an hour to dash. 
And in my opinion, on my first time dashing, and so far now that I'm waiting, that is the best option. It took an hour or more even before I even got an order. And the order was only like $7.28. So if you're dashing and you decide to do this, try your best to opt in for the hourly rate because at least you'll still go home with something. That's the con to dash and buy the order because it took most of my gas and I haven't even made the gas money back yet. So, yep, just be mindful of that. I'm not sure exactly how the hourly thing is chosen. It, it started to look like it's based off of location. I'm in the downtown location, which is the same location I initially was in where it offered to do the hourly active rate. So I went ahead and did the hourly. So I'm getting paid as I wait now. In an instance like this where orders are not coming back to back, now honestly, like on a Friday or a Saturday, maybe even a Sunday, you might make more money doing it per order. But on a weekday basis like this, it's probably best I'm just going off my first day doing this. I don't know. It's probably best to do it by the hour because when it's slower, you can still get that base pay and they still give you the customer tips when they tip you. So, you know, you can't really lose with it. You're doing it that way. So I'm just going to sit here and wait and see if anybody else needs some food. And while I wait, I get the base pay. Real quick, y'all. I just realized as I was editing the video, I did not clarify how incorrect I was about the act. Pay. It is not a base pay. It is an active hour pay. So what that means is for the amount of time that it takes you to pick up the order and drop it off to the person you're door dashing for, that time is allotted to that hour of active pay because that's you being active, if that makes sense. So also that base active pay, that is based on the area you're in and then the area determines how much that active hour pay is. It's not $14.50 everywhere you go. That active pay of $14.50 only qualified for downtown area. I'm assuming because that's a busy area because when I was in Miami Shores, it was $12.75. So based on the area and the activeness of the area, it increases or decreases your active pay. So I just want to make sure I clarified that. Back to the video. So with $14.50 in an hour, I'm going to make that plus the $7.28 I made. I made my gas money back, guys. <laughs> yeah, you want to go toward the back. Yeah, th this is seven. Can I go that way? Yes, yeah. you can. Then you make a left. Oh, okay. No problem. She was looking for her car, y'all. I thought it was a Karen child. She was looking for her car. I lied to that woman, y'all. I lied to that woman. She ran to walk back by me. She didn't want to look at me. Y'all, we got another dash. <laughs> that only took like 15 minutes before the next one came through, so... We're going back into downtown Miami. I don't even know the name of the freaking restaurant we're going to. Oh. Y'all, so the next person's name is Nanoska. I didn't even tell y'all. I didn't even show y'all inside the place. It was Veil Foods. It was good though. And downtown actually wasn't as hard as I thought. Or it's chaotic at all, actually. It's actually really simple. So now I'm gonna get ready to go drop it off. This is my second dash of the day, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know the total after I drop it off because they don't show it to you until you drop it off again. So I'm gonna see. Down to Northeast 131st uh, I Road. I dropped the second dash off. Why the fuck? In 1,000 feet, that turn one. right onto Northeast 130th. Head south on Northeast 6th Avenue. Yeah. I can't even talk to y'all. Turn right onto Northeast Bye. 1. Okay, y'all. I am on my, I was going to stop, but this is the, th this the third one. This is the third dash in a day. Dash, make it fast. So this one's really close, actually. So now I'm going to see what this $14.50 hitting for. The other dash that I just did, that was an hour away, I got $19.29 from it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It, it was 12 miles away. I got basically my gas money back. So remember, we started this to say we wanted to make our $20 that we put in the tank back, and we made that, and then some. So now I'm going to see what this one is when I drop it off. So what I'm now going to tell y'all, after I drop this off, I'm going to let y'all know. Okay, y'all. Three dash has gotten me so the $22.80 plus $7.28. I don't feel like math right now. That's how much I made today dashing. And I only did it for we started around 1 30, 2 30, 3 30. 
4.30. So for four hours, I made about $25. Now, when you break it down that way, that is why I would suggest doing the hourly thing. People don't usually tip on DoorDash, and I'm not gonna lie, I myself am guilty of it. But that's why I wanted to do this challenge to kind of see what it's like for people who DoorDash to do all this driving around, put all of this wear and tear in the car, tip the DoorDash people, y'all. Because I can now see the things that they go through to get to these places. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was cute. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. If you are a dasher, I commend you. Thank you so much for your service. People may not understand how important your job is, but I can honestly say after doing this challenge, I get it. I appreciate you. I value you. And if you're picking up for Saw in the future, my goal is to give you at bare minimum a $20 tip because you guys deserve it. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and even share this video so that people can understand. Just an insight firsthand from somebody who uses DoorDash frequently, I did it. I'm now on the other end of the dashing, bitch. I'm coming to the door as opposed to waiting by the door. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. So we are now at Aldi because now it's time for us to eat. We're going to make burgers on pita bread tonight. I'm going to put the math up for y'all so y'all can understand the total. I actually ended up making $30.28 for four hours. And that's basically minimum wage, like $7 or some change per hour. So that was pretty. Basically, if I were working at McDonald's, no, because I think McDonald's workers actually make more than this, but that was the breakdown of it. So for four hours, each hour I made $7 and some change. So the app tells you you make $14.50 per active hour, but because I did those two orders within that hour, I only got paid the $14.50 once, plus the tips that they gave me, which one guy gave me a $3 tip, but the last person I just did didn't tip. So I was just left with the $14.50 plus the $3.28 tip. Pretty good. Again, I'm super grateful for every door dasher out there. I understand how hard you have to work to get us the food that we want. And even if you just do it as a pastime job, you still appreciate it. It matters. So thank y'all again. I'll never touch you. We are looking for the burgers right now. Oh my gosh, I miss these burgers so much, y'all. I miss the Black Angus burgers so much. I'm looking for the vegans. Oh, they do. Okay, they're down here. And how many are in here? It don't say how many are in here. It say where? Where you see that at? This? Oh yeah, four two and a half ounce burgers. Do you want that one or what's this? What's the difference between this one? It's a protein burger. Look at the nutrition facts side by side. I would like this. This look like it'll be better than this. This is the pita bread we use. You split it as whole wheat, flax, and oat bread and pita bread. So it's like you split it in half, kind of like that picture right there. And you put the burger and everything in there. It's pretty cool. Super cool. That's all we need. We have the tomatoes, even avocado too. That's the house of y'all. We door dash today, yes. Scrumptious. It's so difficult right now. Oh look guys. Thank you for shopping at Aldi. <laughs> So we're in and out of Aldi. Now we're gonna head home and just reflect on the earnings that we've made today from this challenge. Oh, such a good challenge. Mm -mm -mm. Left the door all unlocked. Oh, ooh, y'all, ooh, let window down in here. Y'all smoking in here. Look at that, look at that. Yummy, yummy in my tomato. It came out good, y'all. I can't be a singular expression of myself. There's too many parts, too many spaces, too many manifestations. Too many curves, too many twists, too many journeys, too many mountains, too many rivers, too many...